So my name is Hamer Schlick, and I want to speak today about something that's already been touched on a lot, but I want to reiterate it because I think it's just so important. And that's that our participation and our support for our common beliefs must not stop with our attendance here today. We've heard powerful stories here today, powerful ideas, and we will hear more as the event goes on. People have gotten up to this podium and made themselves very vulnerable to speak in front of a crowd and express their heartfelt fears and beliefs. And I think that if we're going to support them, we need to do more than just listen to their stories. The fact is that our country elected a man who based much of his campaign upon divisive rhetoric, upon racism, upon sexism, upon bigotry. And that empowers hateful, derogatory speech. And if we do not speak up ourselves, then that is the only speech that will be heard. So please, don't stop at listening. We are all here today because we are united in our beliefs in equality, in diversity, and in inclusion. But just having these beliefs is not enough. Change only happens when we take those beliefs out into our communities and act on them. So let's do that. Let's reach out to our family and friends and peers, especially those of marginalized communities, and make sure they're all right. Make sure they feel supported. Let's take an active role in our democracy. Go out and support candidates who endorse your beliefs. Your participation need not stop at the ballot. And finally, when you do encounter bigotry in your life, especially when it's not being targeted at you, don't be silent. But don't be simply combative either. Speak up. But if possible, start a conversation, not an argument. Because that's how you change a person's mind. Really, I think that's what everybody here is looking for. Thank you.